hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can secure a linux mint by enabling and uh, configuring the firewall now the firewall i'm gonna be talking about is the ufw firewall or the uncomplicated firewall which is a front end for the ip tables and i'm gonna be doing most of the commands on the terminal we'll go ahead and uh, open the terminal so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that ufw firewall is installed you can use the command sudo ufw status and this should tell you if it's active or not so in in this case we see that it's inactive the status is inactive now in order for us to get it installed the command to install the firewall is sudo apt install ufw I have uh, UFW already installed here, so it didn't install it. Once you verify that it's installed, the next step will be to enable the firewall. You can use the command sudo UFW enable. Now it's saying that firewall is active and enabled. Now we can rerun the command to check the status, sudo UFW status. And in this case, you see that it's showing us switch services are allowed and from where. So from anywhere, I have uh, port 22 for SSH, port 80 for HTTP and, uh, and port 443 for HTTPS allowed. Now this uh, is allowed through rules. So if it's the first time you have the firewall enabled, you, you're probably not going to have these rules. Let's go ahead and look at the some of the rules you can configure for your UFW firewall. There's two default rules for one for incoming traffic and one for outgoing traffic. So incoming traffic to your system and outgoing traffic from your system. If you wanna deny anything that's incoming, you can use sudo UFW default deny incoming. Now, once you deny everything that's incoming, you'll have to use the rules to allow specific services or ports. And if you wanna allow everything that's originating from your system, you can say sudo ufw default allow outgoing. And that allows all traffic that's originating from your system. Now for allowing specific services such as SSH, the command is sudo ufw allow and then you say ssh and that should add the rule for port 22 and you can add services here such as https and if you add specific or customized if you have custom or customized ports for specific services you can also do that let's say you have port 3000 for some service, uh, for some specific service, you can do sudo ufw allow, then the port number, and then the you can specify whether it's TCP or UDP. Okay. Next thing you might want to do is you might want to enable logging so you can monitor firewall activity. You can use the command sudo ufw logging on that allows login for your ufw now the logs are going to be written onto the var slash log slash ufw dot log file so let's see if this file exists you can do ls var log and there it is that's the file let's see if there's any contents in it var log w log and you already see that there's some logs that have been generated so that's how you check the uh, logs for your firewall that's the where you can check whatever it's being logged into that file for your firewall now when it comes to checking the active rules we can try a command sudo ufw status 
to the polls. Now this is going to give you more information that what we got with just uh, uh, the other command UFW uh, status. It's telling us whether you have login enabled. So it's saying login on. Then there's those two default rules. There's the one that denies incoming traffic. And then there's one that's allowing outgoing traffic. And then we also have the for the ports or the services. Now there's more options available to us when it comes to rules. Uh, let me cover two more options. You can deny traffic coming from a specific IP address or you can allow traffic from a specific IP address. Let's say for instance I wanted to deny uh, traffic I could say sudo ufw deny and then from and then here you'll have to put the IP address that you want to deny from okay whatever uh, IP address you want to deny you can specify it and it should deny traffic from that IP and if you want to allow specific if you want to allow specific IP addresses for say services such as SSH you can say sudo ufw allow from and then you can put the IP 16.1.c101 any and then port and then the port number should and the port number here specifies the service 22 is SSH okay now when it comes to the rules being persistent they should be persistent across any reboots by default and we can verify that using sudo system ctl status ufw and as you can see we have here enabled and enable so that tells us that the rules should be persistent when it comes to reboots finally if you prefer to use a graphical interface to manage your firewall configuration you can go to the menu and you can search for firewall configuration you need to put in your password And this is the graphical interface which allows you to edit the rules so already so right now it's listing the rules that are configured here you can use this to add rules you can remove rules and, and so on and so forth so that's all for this video that's how you can enable and configure the firewall on Linux Mint to harden and secure your Linux Mint. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.